so I had this guy living on my land. Uh, young guy. In his uh, mid 20s, mid to late 20s, I think. And uh, he came to me when I didn't have anyone living on my land. Um, I think I had uh, my last volunteer was leaving and um, asked me if he could live on my land. He said he had a trailer. And I talked to him a bit and then I was like, ah, I'll think about it. And the next day I see him I'm, and he was on my land. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I thought I could stay. I stayed in, the, in your silver trailer. I'm like, I didn't say you could stay. He's like, oh, sorry, it's a misunderstanding. Uh, and, uh, and he's like, oh, I was gonna do this and this and this, do some, you know, some things I needed done. Cause I had told him the stuff I needed done. So he started working, all right? So of course I'm not gonna kick the guy off right then. So I let him stay a few days and he was, you know, doing stuff, helping me out. And, and then, I, I don't know, must've been a couple weeks in or something. I find his trailer on my land. He didn't ask me. He didn't ask me if he could put it on my land. Um, he didn't, uh, you know, uh, we had talked about a place that maybe a trailer could go. No, but he just did it without me knowing. And then got it stuck. Like you need a, uh, a tractor or a bulldozer to get it unstuck. Um, so, um, So he was living on my land, and then it helped because um, he watched my dogs when I went to Florida, and he killed one. I had puppies, and he stepped on it. This is a story I get. Okay, so all right, I have I have two puppies, two female dogs for him to um, take care of, as well as mom and dad, four dogs and two cats. That's all he has to do. Living on my place, using my electricity, using my internet. Um, and he kills one of my dogs. He kills steps on him. Oh, so, so I, I, like, all of a sudden I'm like, damn, I need a, something's going on with my dogs. I, in, I'm in Florida. And I'm like, what, why, why am I getting this thing about my dogs? And then so I, I tried to get a hold of him. I finally left him a text saying, I need you to send me a picture of my dogs. And he was like, uh, I, I hate telling you. Uh, I've been putting it off. Uh, I stepped on one of your dogs and it was hurt so bad that I had to put it down. Right. What? 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 That, you're crazy. How could you? kill my dog and not tell me you know it's not like you killed it outright it's like you heard it and it was crying too much so you decided to kill it without contacting a vet without contacting me um, and I find out two days later because I had a feeling you know what I mean I had a thought about my dogs and that, that's just so wrong right but I'm in Florida what am I supposed to do you know, he's watching the dog. So he's, I get home and there's one less dog. And uh, so, but you know, when I'm home, when I get back, he helps, he does stuff that I need him to do. You know, I need help in my place. And um, he does it and we get along for a while. And then he cuts my water line for my well, for my, uh, I have an irrigation system that's, that irrigates the, the 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 area around the farm sign and um he cuts it and it fails where he cuts it it fails and water comes spilling out and gives me no pressure at my house so i wake up three times turn on the water and there's nothing there and that's bad you know it's my own well if something 
If it messes up, if it breaks down, I gotta pay to fix it. And it's not, everything about Wales is expensive. So, <coughs> so, um, the third time I was like, this is not working. You can't, you gotta change the whole system uh, so I can water at my farm sign. Uh, he just wouldn't listen. I was like, keep, you can keep the system that's there now. I just need another one, a new one. And he was just being a dick. He wouldn't, he was like, I'm just gonna do what I need to do. Uh, so I got in his, I got in his face and he, he pushed me or he got in my face uh, and I took him down or something like that. I can't remember how it went down, but like he, he challenged me on my own land and I knocked him down and put him in a side control and had my elbow on his face and had him pinned down to the ground and I'm like I could fuck you up right now he's like this is my land um, you know uh, you can't you can't be doing you can't you know just think you're gonna do whatever you want and um, so he went to the cops and stupid cops are like uh, the DA Mariposa DA, stupid, um, believe him and charge me with a misdemeanor assault and battery. So I get a letter in the mail saying I got to go to court. If I don't go, there's a there's a warrant out for my arrest. So I I go to court. I go to court a bunch of times, and I keep saying jury trial. The first time. Uh, I go there and I climb, climb the steps to the courthouse. It's steep, it's narrow, it's a lot of steps. And I'm like, uh, they're like, oh, they issued a branch warrant for you or, or something like that, some kind of warrant. And I was like, I'm here. You know, I was like, I couldn't climb the stairs. So it's like, I went down to the room in the bottom and they, uh, they moved it over there. And he's like, I'll take the warrant off. And, uh, um, uh, I'll take the warrant off and and we'll have the meetings down here and so I went one time I had to be there at 9 I went another time I had to be there at 9 I went another time and they just said keep coming back and then the fourth time they're like this is the last time so then I go the fifth time and I walk into the court and now my lawyer, another lawyer, who's a cool dude who lives around Mariposa, is like, oh, they dismissed your thing yesterday, dude. <laughs> I'm like, duh. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, duh. Um, I knew they were, you know. <laughs> Here's the thing about uh, Mariposa uh, DA. They're, they're pussies. Uh, if they think they can get you on something, they will. If they think it's easy, they'll drag you out of bed. They'll give you a warrant uh, and make you prove that uh, you didn't do it. So I didn't back down. They they offered me no time and um, and dropped the. Assault charge giving me a battery charge misdemeanor battery charge. I'm like screw that jury trial. So the first meeting I was like um, uh, Oh, do you want you been they didn't even read me my charges uh, they're like uh, uh, What happened to, Oh, like do you want an attorney can you afford attorney? Uh, yes. No um and the judge is like smart and uh, he's, uh, he's like, do you waive time? I'm like, nope. And, and, and the judge knows me and looks at me and he goes, I set up for a jury trial. And um, I didn't even have to say jury trial. I wish they had read me the charges. I wish I could have said something, but they don't let you talk. You're supposed to talk through your attorney. It's stupid. Anyway, so, um, 
It was hell, man. It put me through hell. I can't imagine being in a jail waiting for that. Well, you know, they didn't put me in jail. I mean, just, I guess it was kind of obvious that I was going to win. <laughs> They're just being dicks. <laughs>